This mechanism is a form of innate cellular defense and regulation, a method for cells to maintain strict control on gene expression and shield against viral intruders. At the crux of this process, we discover small RNA molecules, specifically short interfering RNA, or CERNA, and microRNA, or MIRNA. These minuscule molecular champions have a significant responsibility. When a double-stranded RNA, or dsRNA, appears, an enzyme named DISA intervenes, slicing the dsRNA into petite fragments, typically around 21 to 23 nucleotides in length. These fragments are the CERNA or MIRNA that will navigate the rest of the procedure. Once formed, these small RNA molecules team up with a protein complex referred to as the RNA-induced silencing complex, or RISC. Envision risk as the cell's guided missile system, with the CERNA or MIRNA functioning as the targeting apparatus. The objective of this cellular system, messenger RNA or mRNA molecules. When the RISC complex, directed by the CERNA or MIRNA, identifies its target mRNA, it either splits it, effectively dividing it into two, or obstructs its translation. Both reactions culminate in the same outcome, the silencing of the gene that the mRNA was designated to express. Essentially, RNA interference is a molecular game of telephone, where the message gets misplaced before it can be transmitted. But rather than inducing chaos, this disruption serves an imperative purpose, aiding to regulate gene expression and maintain normal normal cell functioning. Now that we have grasped the basics, let's immerse ourselves deeper into the applications of this technology. From research to therapeutics, RNA interference is not just a natural process, it's a potent tool that's transforming our comprehension of biology and our strategy towards disease treatment.